And after you guys start to understand how these social blade rankings work, you will not only have a leg up on other YouTubers, but you will also understand how to grow your channel that much faster. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Matt, for those of you who do not know me already. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Social Blade. Now I did a video on this in the past, but I had a lot of people watch this and actually ask questions. So I'm gonna be diving into the comment box in this video and answering you guys specifically. So we're gonna jump right into the questions without wasting any time. For those of you who do not know what Social Blade is, Social Blade is basically a place where you can look up your rankings or other people's rankings on social media, such as YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and many other social media platforms. And if you guys stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna make sure and link a video, that way you guys can check out the video in 2018 when I did a little bit deeper look into what Social Blade does. So the first question is, how can I connect my bank account with Social Blade? Now I want to make it super clear, you guys obviously know that there are money symbols on Social Blade. The thing is, these are projections, these are estimates. Now the thing is with these dollar signs, is these are projections of what your account could be making if you were monetized. Now for those of you who do not know what monetization is on YouTube, you have to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months in order to reach monetization. Being monetized simply means that Google can put ads on your videos and eventually people will watch those ads, click on them, and make you money. After you guys reach the monetization requirements, it is still very difficult to make a lot of money on YouTube. As you guys take a look at Social Blade, whether it's yours or somebody else's channel, most likely they're not making that much monthly because also you have to remember this is before taxes. So going back to the question on how can I link my bank account with Social Blade, there is no way you can link your bank account with Social Blade because these are simply projections of what your account could be doing if you are monetized on YouTube. The next question we're gonna look at was a very common question and I'm simply gonna take this one from the comment box which was what's a TBD grade? Now a lot of people aren't ranked on Social Blade yet because number one, they don't post enough videos. Number two, they might not have a lot of subscribers or view count or watch time. You may have just created your channel and therefore you would most likely be given a TBD grade, which means to be decided in the future after you guys post more content, get more engagement, more views, and more subscribers down the road. I wouldn't say to worry if you have a TBD grade on your YouTube channel right now. Just continue to post content, continue to work hard to get subscribers and views, and eventually Social Blade will give you a ranking. So the next question we're gonna look at is how have you found the future projections to work out? Now looking at this in the past, for the most part, the future projections are fairly off. They're all based on your past two weeks to a month, and if you are gaining a lot of subscribers all of a sudden, then it's gonna assume that you're gonna continue to gain at that pace through the next few years, or let's say in the past you've gotten very little engagement, very little views, very little subscribers, and they don't understand that you might post a viral video that eventually blows your channel up, and you could get a lot of views and subscribers all at one time, that's the thing with future projections. They're just assuming your future projections based on the data that they've had over the past month to six months. So honestly, I would say don't look at the future projections and rely on them. Your channel could literally blow up overnight. Many people's channels have done that. So I wouldn't say look at those future projections and assume that that's how it's gonna be because you never know what kind of content you're gonna post that eventually could go viral or blow your channel up a little bit. So the next question we're gonna talk about is this question from Lewis Evans, and that is how do you check daily views? Now with this question, I'm actually going to open up YouTube and go to my own profile and show you guys how I do this because it's very accurate compared to Social Blade's statistics on your daily views. So what you're gonna do is open up YouTube. You're gonna go over to the top right icon and click on your profile picture. And if you guys are logged into your channel, you would go down to your channel and click on that. After that loads, you're gonna go over here to customize channel, click on that. And then over here, you guys can see there's subscribers, views, and video manager. You're gonna go ahead and click on the views. Then if you guys scroll down, you can see the real time activity, which is updating live. And if you guys wanna get super detailed and go down to the hour, you can click on see more right here, and it pops up your guys' last 48 hours of views and it also shows you the last 60 minutes. And the cool thing is it shows you guys the most popular videos over the last 48 hours, 
and the last 60 minutes. And as you guys can see, the video on Social Blade that I did back in December of 2018 is still continuing to bring me in the most views and that's why I decided to do a video on it and to do a little more hands-on by answering your guys' questions. And when it comes down to it, you guys, I would say that your channelytics on YouTube are actually gonna be a much better statistic to look at because they have so many things that you can dive in super deep and Social Blade is still a good tool to use but it gives you more general information where if you guys wanna get really detailed, you guys can actually go into your analytics and see multiple different areas of statistics that Social Blade doesn't even have. So the next question I wanna address is this one right here that says, can you help me, my Social Blade subs don't move and it says I lost over 700 views. It happened after I changed my name. Now, one thing that I noticed in the past when I have, let's say, purchased promotions from like Fiverr or Upwork, sometimes what will happen is you'll purchase, you know, like a phony promotion where all of a sudden you see a thousand views on your video overnight and the next day you've lost a bunch or in this case, this person lost 700. This is gonna happen sometimes when you buy views or you buy promotions from people who are basically running fake ads and fake views to your videos. So keep in mind when you guys want to run a promotion or an ad or boost a video on YouTube, there are some risks involved. So I would suggest growing organically, sending the link to your friends, family, followers, and that is the main way I have grown my YouTube channel over the past year. Sometimes you can use good promotions and especially if you use something like YouTube ads where it's inside of YouTube, that would be good as well. But at the end of the day, that might be a little more pricey than going somewhere like Fiverr or Upwork where they're saying that they're gonna get your channel a thousand views or more. So be careful when you're looking to promote your video and get it to more views because sometimes people will just throw fake views at it and then eventually the next day, you'll lose a bunch of them. Another question I wanna address is this one right here where it says, hey bro, I'm waiting for my monetization approval and I checked my account on Social Blade and it says that I have money there, so I will receive the money from YouTube or Social Blade when my channel is monetized. And how honest is Social Blade? So the gist of this question is, does YouTube pay you or does Social Blade pay you? Social Blade is a great tool to look at for your statistics on YouTube and other social media sites, but no, Social Blade does not pay you. When it comes down to payment, after you get monetized on YouTube, then Google AdWords will pay you. Because here's the thing, it's not even that YouTube pays you, it's because Google owns YouTube. So technically Google is the one that pays you when you make money on YouTube. Now if you guys don't know already how to check your monetization status, I'm gonna show you guys right here how to check your watch time as well as your subscribers. So if you go back to YouTube and you click on that top right icon where it is your channel, you're gonna go over to your channel and click on that. The next thing we're gonna do is click on Customize Channel once more. Then after we do that, we're gonna go over to Views. This is the way that I figured it out. So we're gonna click on Views. And once we're here, we're gonna go over here to the left side of the page and we're gonna click on Creator Studio Classic. The next thing it's gonna do is open up the Creator Studio Classic. So after you click on that, you're gonna go over to the left side of the page once more and you're gonna click on Channel. And now what you're gonna do is scroll down and as you guys can see, there's this little top box that says monetization. Now when I click view monetization settings, you guys can see that it says account status has been monetized. If you guys aren't monetized yet, it's gonna show you guys your subscriber count as well as your monetization hours and how close you are to 4,000 because that's the goal to get to to be monetized. And the last question I'm gonna address you guys is how much did you earn by now? Now this comment was posted two months ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the earnings that I've gotten on YouTube thus far. So what I'm gonna do is open up Google AdSense. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Now as you guys can see right here, my balance currently is $35.97. My last payment was $107.06. So basically what happens is every time you reach the $100 mark, they either send you a check in the mail, or if you're like me, you go ahead and apply for online direct deposit, which it immediately took that $107 and put it in my account, which is a lot easier than getting a check and going to the bank and having to cash it. So as you guys can see, if you add the 107 plus 35, that puts me just a little bit over $140. Obviously, I need another $65 in order to get this next payout, but right now I've made $107 that's already in my account, and this next 35, which is on my way to the next $100. So as you guys can see, it's no easy job being able to make money on YouTube. Okay, so there it is, you guys. If you have any other questions on Social Blade, 
please drop them down below. I highly recommend you guys check out that other video I did on Social Blade because it's got a lot of good content in there. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video right here. And if you guys wanna learn how to grow on Instagram, especially with all the algorithm changes that have happened, I'm gonna link that video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you over there.